children today we will see different ways of measuring length chanda is decorating her new house she has to buy curtains for the windows now chanda is thinking about how she is going to tell uncle the length of the cloth that she needs then chanda thought of measuring the length of the window with her palm she quickly measured the length of the window using her palms the length of the window is equal to 7 of chanda's palms chanda reached uncle's shop all excited she chose a material of her choice there and asked uncle to give her a 7 palm long cloth uncle immediately measured the 7 palm long cloth and gave it to chanda chanda returned home and quickly hung the cloth on the window but what was this chanda's window curtain was touching the floor poor chanda became really sad children can you tell me why this happened yes you are right chanda measured the window using her palms and while giving the cloth uncle had measured the cloth using his palms now chanda's palms are so small and uncle's palms are so big so will the length measured by both their palms be the same no that is why chanda's window curtain reached the floor chanda became sad just then appu came to meet her he asked her the reason why she was so sad and chanda told him the whole story appu started oh, laughing oh, and said oh. is this all he immediately took a rope and measured the length of chanda's window with it he cut the exact length of the rope that measured chanda's window and told her that she has to buy a cloth as long as the rope from uncle's shop chanda again went to uncle's shop and this time bought a cloth as long as the length of the rope with which appu had measured the window children was chanda able to get the exact length of the cloth for her window yes this time when chanda hung the cloth on her window it was the exact length of her window but how did this happen appu had measured the length of the window with the help of a rope and because the length of the rope cannot differ uncle's and chanda's measurement became exactly the same and chanda found a curtain that was the right measurement for her window see how beautiful chanda's curtain looks and she is now dancing with joy children in this video we saw different ways of measuring lengths in the next video we will learn more about this with the help of interesting examples children in the previous video we learned about different ways of measuring lengths in this video we will see some interesting examples related to this topic today chanda has gone to the bank for some important work but she has forgotten some important documents back home she immediately called appu and asked him to bring the papers from her house appu asked her where would he find the papers 
Chanda told him that as soon as he opens the main door and enters a house, he has to walk ten steps straight towards a blue cupboard. He will find the papers in the lowermost shelf of the cupboard in a packet. Appu immediately reached Chanda's house. According to Chanda's instructions, as soon as he entered the house, he walked 10 steps and reached another room. He looked here and there, almost everywhere for the blue cupboard, but he could not see it. He called Chanda and told her that he can't see the cupboard anywhere. Chanda returned from the bank and after returning home, just as she had told Appu on the phone, she walked 10 steps and showed him the blue cupboard. Children, can you say why this happened? Actually, Chanda's feet are too small and Appu's feet are too big. This is the reason why the distance measured by Chanda 10 steps and Appu's 10 steps are not the same. So, when Appu walked 10 steps straight from the door, he reached the other room. Appu understood Chanda's mistake. But how can we correct this mistake? Let us see what Appu says to Chanda. Appu said to Chanda that whenever she has to tell somebody the distance from one place to another, she can use the count of the tiles on the floor. Like her TV is four tiles away from the table and her blue cupboard is eight tiles away from the door. Chanda understood what Appu was saying. Children, you can also measure the distance between two places by using the lengths of objects like a long stick, tile or a rope. Children, in this video, we learnt how to measure length in different ways with the help of some interesting examples. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes related to this topic. In the previous video, we saw some interesting examples of measuring lengths in different ways. In this video, we will see some common mistakes related to this topic. Raju and Bablu are fighting in class. But why? Raju is saying that his notebook is longer and Bablu is saying that his notebook is longer than Raju's. Appu saw them fighting and told them that they can use an eraser to measure the length of the notebook. This way, they will know which of the two notebooks is longer. First, Raju measured the notebook with an eraser. The length of Raju's notebook was five erasers long. Now, Bablu also used the same eraser to measure the length of his notebook. But Bablu's notebook was only four erasers long. Raju started teasing Bablu, saying that his notebook was longer. Appu was doubtful. He immediately kept one notebook above the other and found that both notebooks were of the exact same length. But Appu was shocked to know 
that if they had used the same eraser to measure both the notebooks, how had the measurements turned out to be different? Children, can you tell me why and how did this happen? Raju had measured his notebook placing the eraser in this way. But while measuring his notebook, Bablu placed the eraser a little above the bottom end. That is why the length of his notebook was four erasers long instead of five erasers long. Children, remember, whenever we measure the length of an object with the help of another object, then we should measure the length from one end of the object to the other end. Appu made Raju and Bablu understand this. Now Raju told Bablu that maybe their notebooks might be of the same length. His pen is definitely longer than Bablu's. Bablu told Raju, why can't they measure the length of the pen using a paper clip? Both of them took similar paper clips and measured their pens. Raju said his pen was 12 clips long and Bablu said his pen was 14 clips long. Appu again felt something was wrong here. He placed both their pens alongside each other and saw that both pens were of the same length. Can you say this time out of the two who made the mistake and what was the mistake? Let's see how Raju and Bablu measured the lengths of their pens. Raju placed the clip in this way and Bablu in this way. Now, can you say where the mistake was? Yes, while measuring the pen, Raju left a lot of space between the clips. That is why only 12 clips came in the length of Raju's pen. On the other hand, while measuring his pen, Bablu placed the clips in a straight line without leaving any space in between. That is why the length of his pen was 14 clips long. Children, remember that whenever we have to measure the length of an object with the help of another object and we should not leave any empty space in between. Raju and Bablu were very happy to learn this from Appu and they became friends again. Children, in this video we saw some common mistakes made while measuring lengths of objects using different ways. Kids, in this video, we will learn about use of appropriate unit to measure the length or distance between objects. When Chanda went on a trip with the villagers, she wrote the length of some items on a paper. Today, while Chanda was cleaning her house, the paper was accidentally torn. Now, Chanda is unable to understand which is the measure of what. Now, Chanda quickly wrote the names of the objects and places that were written on that paper. On another paper like this. She then picked up a piece of paper 
from those pieces of paper with one meter length written on it. Kids, can you tell which of these items can be one meter in length? Absolutely correct. Peanuts and shoe are much smaller than one meter. It is possible that the length of the mat is one meter. Hence, the correct answer is length of the mat. Now Chanda found these two pieces of paper on which 4 cm and 22 cm were written. Now, can you match the length of the remaining two objects with their correct lengths? You can find the answer by pausing the video. Well done kids! You have found the answers to them. Because the length of the peanut is much smaller than that of the shoe, length of peanut will be 4 cm and shoe length will be 22 cm. Kids, if Chanda had written the distance between the railway station and the well on a paper, which of the following could it be? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids! You have found the right answer. Because the distance from the railway station to the well is very long, we cannot measure it in centimeters. Therefore, the distance from the railway station to the well will be 3 kilometers. After all, Chanda got all the measurements written by her to match. See how she's dancing happily. Children, in this video, we learned about which units can be used to measure the length or distance between objects. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. In the previous video, we learned to use the appropriate unit to measure the length or distance between objects. In this video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. Raju's father asks him to bring a piece of cloth for his shirt from the duck uncle's shop. On the way, Raju met Bablu and they went to the park to play. Raju totally forgot about bringing the cloth for his father's shirt. When he was returning home, he remembered that he had to go to the uncle's shop. But he only remembered the number 2 from the measurements his father had given him. Kids, can you tell Raju that what units should be used to measure the cloth for his father's shirt? Centimeters, meters or kilometers? Which one should be used? Well done kids! Your answer is absolutely correct. Raju should use meter for the piece of cloth for his father's shirt. Because the 2 cm measure would be too short and 2 km would be too long. Raju immediately reached the uncle's shop and bought a 2 meter long cloth for his father. When Raju was returning home, in a shop on the way, 
he saw a computer monitor like this. On the monitor, the screen size was written in this way. But only the number 45 was written below that. Raju came to know that the length of the screen of the monitor was 45. But Raju did not understand which unit was used for it. Children, can you tell for the length of the monitor screen which unit should be used next to 45? Absolutely correct! Because both 45 meters and 45 kilometers would be very long. Raju should write the length of the computer screen using centimeter. So in this way, what would be the screen length of the monitor? 45 centimeter. Now Raju was about to reach his house. Just then, on the way, he saw it was written on a stone plate on the ground. Pampapur 40. But the unit below was erased. Raju started thinking that the distance from Pampapur to there was written on that stone. Now which unit should be written in front of 40 so that the people going there can get the correct idea of distance to Pampapur? Kids, can you help Raju? Well done kids! You have found the correct answer. Because the distance between places is very long. We cannot write them using centimeters or meters. Hence, the distance from there to Pampapur will be 40 kilometers. Raju found the right answer with your help. Then, he took a piece of coal and wrote 40 kilometers in this way and returned to his home. Kids, in this video, we have learned about some interesting examples in which appropriate unit is used to measure the length or distance between objects. Today we will learn about what is centimeter and why it is used. Chanda was so happy after learning from Appu about measuring length of things. She started measuring the length of everything with a rope. One day, when Appu came to her house to eat, he saw that Chanda has made a pile of ropes in the corner of her house. And on every rope, something like the name of TV, table, spoon, etc. was written. Appu was shocked to see this. When he asked Chanda, she told him that she had measured the length of various objects in her house with the help of ropes. Oh, oh, oh. Appu laughed. He asked Chanda a question. Suppose if you are outside the house and you have to measure the length of something and if you don't have any rope, what would you do? Chanda thought for a while, but had no answer to Appu's question. Appu then asked her another question. 
If you want to tell the length of an object to someone and that person is not in front of you, then tell me how will you tell him the length of the object? Chanda also had no answer to this question of Appu. Do you have answer to these questions of Appu? No. No problem. Come. See what Appu is telling Chanda about these questions. Appu told Chanda that she can solve all these problems in a very easy way. With the help of centimeters. Chanda could not understand anything. She immediately asked Appu. What is a centimeter? A centimeter is a unit of measuring length. We can measure the length of any object in centimeters. And centimeter is a unit that is always the same. Now Chanda told Appu that she understood about centimeters. But how can she use it? And how can she measure the length of objects? She still has not understood that. What did Appu answer to Chanda? And how can we use centimeters to measure the length of objects? We will see this in the next video. Kids, in this video, we learnt what is centimeters and why we use it. In the next video, we will learn about some interesting examples of how we can use centimeters. Kids, in the previous video, we learned about what is a centimeter and why we use it. In this video, we will learn about some interesting examples on use of centimeters. Do you remember kids? In the previous video, Appu told Chanda about centimeter. Come, let's see what he is telling Chanda about the use of centimeters. Appu took out a plastic strip like this from his bag and placed it on the table in front of Chanda. Chanda asks him, What is this plastic strip? And how can I use it to measure the length of objects in centimeters? Appu starts telling Chanda, this is a ruler. Can you see the numbers written and these lines drawn on it? The difference between any two consecutive numbers written on it is equal to 1 cm. Appu then asked Chanda to collect some items from her house whose length she wanted to measure. Chanda immediately collected those items and brought them. Appu first picked up a spoon of Chanda. He placed the spoon next to the ruler in this way and said, Look, your spoon is 12 centimeters long. Chanda could not understand how Appu found this out? Appu said to her, Whenever you have to measure the length of any object, you place it next to the ruler in this way and start measuring from zero. The number which is reaching the other end of your object the length of your object will be that centimeter. 
Chanda got really excited about the ruler. She immediately took the ruler from Appu and placed her TV remote next to the ruler. Chanda told Appu, "Look, Appu, my TV remote is ten centimeters long. I learned to measure the length of objects from the ruler." After saying this, Chanda started dancing happily. Kids, here are some items of Chanda's house. Can you tell how many centimeters their length is? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done, kids. You have found the right answer. Chanda thanks Appu for telling her about the ruler and centimeter. and puts the pile of ropes in her house in a cupboard kids in this video we learned how to use a ruler to measure length in centimeters in the next video we will see some common mistakes related to this In the previous video, we learned how to use a ruler to measure length in centimeter. In this video, we will see some common mistakes related to this concept. Chanda became very happy after learning about the ruler from Appu. She measured her spoon again with a ruler. But uh, what is that? Chanda got the length of the spoon as 13 cm this time. Chanda started wondering how it happened. When Appu measured the length of that spoon, it was 12 cm. Then how did it become 13 cm today? Kids, can you tell what mistake Chanda has made here? Yes. This time when Chanda measured the length of the spoon, she started measuring the length by 1 instead of starting from 0. So, 1 cm in length of spoon was added. Keep in mind kids, whenever we are measuring the length of any object with a ruler, then we should always keep in mind that we start measuring the length by the zero number chanda realized her mistake and measured the spoon from number zero and this time she got the length of the spoon exactly 12 cm as before Now Chanda wants to get a skirt made for herself. Chanda is thinking, why not measure her waist using the ruler too? She immediately placed the ruler next to her waist in such a way and wrote on a paper that her waist measure is 5 cm. Kids, did Chanda measure her waist properly? Chanda has taken the wrong measurement of her waist. Kids, if we want to measure any curved object, we cannot measure it by placing it next to the ruler because we cannot measure its full length by doing so its curved portion and rear side measure are omitted and the ruler 
can also break. Then, how do we do this? Suppose, we have to measure the waist of Chanda. So, we will first measure her waist with a rope. Then, we will put that rope next to the ruler. What is the measurement of this rope? It is the right size of the waist of Chanda. In this way, how many centimeters is the correct measurement of Chanda's waist? 20 centimeter. When Chanda reached out to babble uncle with her own measure, he also explained to Chanda about the mistake that she made. Chanda became very happy after learning this new thing. Now she measured her waist properly and got a beautiful skirt made from Uncle Babel. See how beautiful she looks in her new skirt? Kids, in this video, we learned about some common mistakes related to measurement of length in centimeters. Children, in this video, we will learn about what is a meter and why do we use a meter. Curtains are going to be hung at various places at the fair in Champapur. Chanda has got the task of making those curtains. Chanda thought that she would buy material from uncle's shop and make the curtains. Chanda had learned from Appu about the use of centimeters and rulers. So she is confident that she will easily be able to give the correct measurements for the curtains to uncle. She immediately reached the fair taking her 15 centimeter ruler. Poles were erected at the places where curtains were to be hung. Chanda thought that if she measures the distance between the poles, then she will get the size of the curtain. Chanda began to measure the distance between the poles with her ruler. But Chanda's ruler is very small. She is unable to measure the distance between the poles with her ruler. Just then, Appu was passing by. Seeing Chanda upset, he asked her, What she is measuring using that small ruler? Chanda tells him that she is trying to measure the distance between the poles. Appu heard this and started laughing loudly. When Chanda asks him why he is laughing, Appu told her that she could only measure the length of small objects like pen, notebook, etc. in centimeters with the help of ruler. But to measure the length of large objects, she has to use a meter. Chanda immediately asked Appu, What is this meter? Appu then explained to her that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Chanda was shocked. She asked Appu, is it possible to make such a long ruler? Yes. There is a long ruler to measure in meters. But if we have to measure the length of any object in meters, we can do this more easily by using a measuring tape. 
Chanda told him, I have never seen a measuring tape. Can you show me? Appu then told her that he doesn't have it at that moment. But if she met him at uncle's shop the next day, then he would borrow the measuring tape from uncle and show it to her. Chanda agreed. The two decided to meet at uncle's shop the next day and went to their respective homes. Children, in this video, we learnt about what is a meter. Why do we use a meter? In the next video, we will learn about how we can use the meter with some interesting examples. Children, in the previous video, we learned about what is a meter and why do we use a meter. In this video, we will learn how we can use the meter with some interesting examples. Chanda and Appu have come to see the measuring tape at uncle's shop. Appu asked uncle, for his measuring tape. Appu showed the measuring tape to Chanda. Chanda got very excited after seeing it. She asked Appu how she must use it. Appu told Chanda, Look at these measuring lines. These small vertical lines show the measurement of centimeters and the long vertical lines show us the measurement in meters. Appu took a material from uncle and measured it in such a way using the measure tape. Children, can you tell how long this material is? See. The length of the material is more than the length of one meter. But how many centimeters is one small line? One centimeter. This way, the length of this material is one meter and four centimeter. Chamba was shocked. She asked Appu, Is this possible? Can the length of objects be measured using both meters and centimeters? Appu laughed and said, Yes, it is absolutely possible. Chanda then told him that she did not have such a measuring tape. So how can she measure the length of objects in meters. Appu returned uncle's measuring tape and went with Chanda to buy a measuring tape from the shop nearby. From there, both of them bought measuring tape for themselves. Chanda was very happy to get her measuring tape. Now Chanda asked Appu, I don't understand which objects will be measured in meters and which objects will be measured in centimeters. Children, here are few objects. Can you tell the length of which of these items will be measured in centimeters? and length of which of these items will be measured in meters. Well done, children. You have answered correctly. We can measure the length of these items in meters and can measure the length of these items in centimeters. 
Appu explained this to Chanda using these items. Chanda became very happy knowing that now she will be able to easily measure the curtains to be used in the fair. She thanked Appu and happily returned to her house with her measuring tape. Children, in this video with some interesting examples, we learned how to use meter. In the next video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this. Children, in the last video with some interesting examples, we learned how to use meter and why we use it. In this video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this. Chanda measured the size of the curtains with her measuring tape. When Chanda reached Barbole uncle's shop, to get her curtains stitched. Kolu was also there buying material for his shirt from uncle. Chanda saw that Golu asked uncle for a one meter long material and uncle cut the material as long as his arm length. Chanda was surprised Chanda had got her measuring tape along. As soon as uncle cut Golu's material, she took that material from Golu and immediately measured it with her measuring tape. Children, is the material that was cut using uncle's arm length one meter long? No, uncle gave one arm long material which is one meter and five centimeter long. Chanda explained to Chacha and Golu that the length of one arm varies for everyone. So they cannot use it to measure one meter. For example, the length of her one arm is not equal to the length of uncle's one arm and the length of uncle's one arm is not the same as one meter. She told uncle that he should measure the material using his measuring tape. Both Golu and uncle understood this. Chanda gave uncle the measurement of her curtains and returned to her home. After returning home, Chanda measured her pencil with a ruler in such a way and found that the pencil is 10 cm in length. Then she measured the length of her roof with her measuring tape and found that the roof was 10 meters long. Chanda started thinking that the length of both her roof and pencil is 10 and 10. So are they both of the same length? What do you think children? Is Chanda's thinking correct? No. Chanda's pencil is 10 cm in length while her roof is 10 meters in length. And children, you know how many centimeters is equal to 1 meter? Exactly! 100 centimeters. And the length of roof is 10 meters. So the length of the roof is 10 meters and the length of the pencil is 10 centimeters, which means the roof is bigger than the pencil. 
Chanda understood this also and she went to bring her curtains from uncle's shop. Children, in this video, we learnt what is a meter and how is a meter used and about the misconceptions related to it. In this lesson, we will learn about maps. Raju and Bablu are playing the game of treasure hunt. Raju has given Bablu a map and few written instructions. Bablu will have to find the treasure following the given instructions. The map made by Raju looks something like this. Bablu has started reading the instructions. Come out of your home and move ahead. Turn right from the third tile. Bablu came out of his house and reached the third tile. But now he is unable to understand which one is the right direction. Children, do you know how to identify the left and the right directions? First, we will learn to identify the right and the left hands. Keep your both hands like this. Now, in whichever hand you see this type of L, that is your left hand and the other hand is right hand. The direction which is towards your right hand is the right direction and the direction to your left hand is the left direction. Isn't it easy? Now Bablu also understood right and left and turned towards right. He read the instructions further. After turning right and walking a few steps, you will see a post box on the left side. On top of that post box, you will find a rope. Pick up that rope. Children, can you tell how many more steps should Bablu walk to reach the post box? Yes, three steps. Three steps ahead, Bablu saw a post box to his left side. He picked up the rope kept on top of it and read the further instruction. Now walk two steps straight and turn left and keep on going straight till the time you reach a triangle shaped tile. According to instructions, Bablu reached the triangle tile. Children, now you can tell which side should Bablu turn to move ahead in the map. Yes, Bablu should turn right. Now Bablu further read the instructions. Turn right from the triangular tile and walk straight three steps. The stall which is nearest to the tile, give the rope to the owner of the stall. And in turn, he will give you new object. Children, can you tell me 
which is the nearest stall to Bablu after he walks three steps further. The nearest stall to Bablu is Babban's ice cream stall. Bablu walked three steps straight and reached Babban's stall. There he gave Babban that rope. And in return, Babban gave him a basket. Come, let's see what was written in the next instruction. Walk one step straight and turn left and keep on going straight till the time you reach the tile with a different shape. Now walk one step straight and turn left and keep on going straight till the time you reach the tile with a different shape. Children, can you identify what is the shape of the tile? Yes, you are right. It is in a circular shape. Now, Bablu read the instructions further. You will see a tree in front of this different shaped tile. There is kept a key under that tree. Keep the basket under the tree. Take the key and turn right. Bablu kept the basket under the tree and turned right as mentioned. Now this was written further in the instructions. After turning right, walk four steps forward. In the front, you will find a box. Open the box with your keys and you will get your treasure. As per the instructions, Bablu reached near the box and he opened the box with his key. Children, do you know what did Bablu get in the treasure? Bablu got a new cricket bat in the treasure. See how happy Bablu looks. Children, in this lesson, we learned about maps. In the next lesson, we will look at some interesting examples. Hello children, we are looking at some interesting examples related to maps. Bhola and Appu are playing a game. Bhola has made a map like this for Appu on the floor. He will ask Appu some mathematical puzzles. Appu has to find solution to those puzzles. Then Appu has to walk over the map and reach the tile containing the number found in the solution. Bhola's first puzzle is what is 2 multiplied with 2? Children, do you know its answer? Yes, 2 multiplied with 2 is 4. Appu has also found the solution to this puzzle. Now, how will Appu reach four number tile from the start line? By walking four steps straight, Appu has reached tile number four. Children, can you tell whether the triangular shaped picture is to Appu's right or is to his left? Absolutely correct. 
the triangular shaped picture is at Appu's right side. Bhola's next puzzle is which tile is seven steps ahead of tile number four? Children, do you know its answer? How much is seven added to four? Eleven. Seven steps ahead of four is tile number eleven. Now, how will Appu reach tile number eleven from number four tile? First, Appu will walk two steps straight. Now, in which direction will Appu turn? Absolutely right, towards left direction. Then, how many more steps will Appu need to walk to reach tile number 11? Five steps. Come, let's see what is Bhola's next puzzle. If you walk one step ahead and then turn right and take two steps straight, then which tile will you reach? Children, can you help Appu? Which tile will Appu reach? Absolutely right! Appu will reach tile number 14. On the left side of tile number 14 are paintings of three shapes. Among them, can you name the shape nearest to number 14? Yes, it is a circle. Come on children, let's see what is Bhola's next puzzle. Which tile is 6 less than 2 times 14? Appu became worried after hearing this puzzle. Can you solve this puzzle for Appu? If we multiply 14 with 2, what will we get? 28. Now, subtracting 6 from 28 is 22. Got Appu's answer. 6 less than 2 times 14 is tile number 22. With the help of you, Appu has quickly moved to tile number 22. Now can you tell on which side of tile number 22 is the picture of a mango tree? Yes, the picture of a mango tree is to the left of tile number 22. And how many mangoes are painted on top of that mango tree? Absolutely right! Six mangoes! Now Bhola asked his final puzzle. If you multiply 25 with 1, then what will you get? Children, do you know the answer to this puzzle? If we multiply any number with 1, we will get the same number. Therefore, 25 multiplied with 1 is 25. On getting this answer, Appu ran to tile number 25 and reached the finish line and started jumping happily. Children, in this lesson, we saw some interesting examples related to maps. Today in this video, what is kilometer and why use kilometer is what we learn about. Everyone from the village are going on a trip. It was decided that in the morning they would gather near the village well and board a bus together 
from there for the trip. But Chanda did not know the way to the well from her house. She immediately called Appu and asked him the way. Appu asked her to look at the trip map that they were given. Hey, can you spot your house in the map? Tell me. So now you have to come two kilometers straight from there. And then you will reach the well. Okay. Chanda thought that she heard Appu wrong. She told Appu, I think you mistakenly said two kilometers in place of two meters. You do remember, right? Now I know all about meter. On hearing this, Appu laughed. <laughs> Chanda, I did say two kilometers, okay? Chanda was surprised. I have understood about centimeter and meter. Now, what is this kilometer? Appu explained it to Chanda. Look, Chanda, since the distance between the two places is a lot, we cannot measure them in centimeters or meters. Centimeters and meters are units of measuring length. Similarly, kilometers is the unit to measure the distance between two places. One kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. Appu told Chanda. Look, can you see Golu's dairy on the map? The dairy is three kilometers away from the bus stop. Chanda quickly noticed the places on her map and also saw the distance written between them. Now Chanda said to Appu, Appu, I can see your house and mine on the map too. And four kilometers is written between your house and my house. So is my house four kilometers away from your house? Yes, Chanda. You have read the map correctly. Very good. Chanda said to Appu. But Appu, if one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters, then we will not be able to measure it with a measuring tape or a ruler. So how can we measure the distance between two places? You cannot measure a kilometer with a measuring tape or a ruler. Special resources are used for this, okay? You can only find the distance between two places by the distances written on the signs on the road. Alright! Well, tomorrow when we go for the trip, then I will look at these signs carefully. When you meet me tomorrow, then tell me more about the kilometer. Okay? Okay! Appu said and then disconnected the call. How was the trip of the villagers the next day? And what else did Appu tell Chanda about kilometer? We will see this in the next video. Kids, today in this video, what is kilometer and why is kilometer used is what we learned about. In the next video, we will learn more about kilometer with some interesting examples. In the previous video, we learned what are kilometers and why we use it. In this video, we will learn more about kilometers by some interesting examples. The next day, 
all the village people gathered near the well. There was some time left for the bus to arrive. Chanda then showed Appu a map of his outing and asked him to tell her more about the kilometer. Children, have you seen a map before? Maps often include places and distances between them. Come, let's see what else Appu is telling Chanda about this map. Look at this Chanda. We will start from the well. And first we will go to the fair. As I told you on the phone yesterday, you can see the distance from here to the fair on the map. See, the distance is written on the map as 3 kilometers. Appu said to Chanda, Kids, can you see this map and tell how many kilometers away from the fair is the lake? Absolutely right. The distance from the fair to the lake is 1 kilometer. Now Chanda saw on the map that the distance from the lake to the railway station is 4 kilometers and that of the park from the lake is 2 kilometer. Now Chanda is thinking that which place is closer to the lake? Railway station or park? Kids, can you help Chanda find the answer to this question? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids! The answer you found is correct. Because 2 kilometers is less than 4 kilometers. Hence, the park is closer to the lake. Appu asks Chanda to answer a question. If uncle's house is 7 km from the park and Bablu's house is 5 km away, then whose house is more distant from the park? Children, do you know the answer to Appu's question? Yes, since 7 km is greater distance than 5 km, uncle's house is at more distance than the park. Chanda too quickly found the answer to Appu's question just like you. She danced happily knowing more about the kilometer. Then the bus arrived there and all the villagers boarded the bus and set out on their trip. Kids, in this video, we learned more about kilometers with some interesting examples. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes related to this. Kids, in the previous video, we learned more about kilometer with some interesting examples. In this video, we will see some common mistakes related to this. Raju and Bablu are going to play at Chanda's house. Raju tells Bablu that his house is closer to Chanda's house. But, Bablu is arguing with Raju that their two houses are at equal distances from Chanda's house. Raju asks Bablu, how far is his house from Chanda's house? Bablu tells him that his house is 5 kilometers away from Chanda's house. Then, 
Bablu asks him, How far is his house from Chanda's house? Raju said, At a distance of 5 meters. Children, can you tell me? Is it right? Even though in the distance, numbers of Raju and Bablu's houses, five are the same. The distance unit of Raju's house is in meters. And the distance unit of Bablu's house is kilometers. And kids, you do know which one of these two units is bigger, don't you? Yes, kilometer is a larger unit than meter. Because one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. So, whose point is correct? Right! Raju's argument is right. His house is closer to Chanda's house. Kids, remember that whenever we have to compare distances or lengths, then we should compare not only their numbers, but also their units. Now, Bablu told Raju, even though his house is farther from Chanda's house, but it is definitely closer to Golu's house. His house is 2 kilometers away from Golu's house and Raju's house is 50 meters away from Golu's house and 2 less than 50. Therefore, his house is closer to Golu's house. Kids, what do you think? Is Bablu's point correct this time? Yes, Bablu is wrong again. This time, the number in the distance from Golu's house to Bablu's house, 2 is lesser than the number in the distances from Golu's house to Raju's house, that is 50. But once again, Bablu did not pay attention to their units when comparing the distances. His house is 2 km from Golu's house. And Raju's house is 50 meters from Golu's house. Even though 2 is less than 50, but because the meter is smaller than kilometer, Raju's house is closer to Golu's house. Bablu finally understood Raju and both of them went to play at Chanda's house. Kids, in this video, we saw some common mistakes related to measuring distances in kilometers.